Do you want to be part of something bigger? At Siemens, we use AI to transform the everyday. Our engineering solutions drive innovation and change. We're leading in technology and building a sustainable future. Join Siemens and make an impact to transform the everyday. Apply now and be part of something extraordinary. Visit Siemens.co.in TAR Careers. Welcome to Morning Prayer and Worship. I'm so glad that you're here today. It is Monday of Ordinary Time, proper 18 in the church calendar. If you wonder what these terms mean that we use, there are links in the episode description. If you need prayer, you can go to benwardmusic.com slash prayer request. It'd be our honor and joy to pray for you and with you. And you can support Morning Prayer and Worship. benwardmusic.com slash donate. Thank you. We need you. If you're new to morning prayer, we begin with an opening worship song, prayer of confession, a reading from the Psalms, a reading from the Gospels, the Apostles' Creed, the Lord's Prayer, the Collect of the Day, and a time of free prayer. Lord, you are more precious than silver Lord you are more costly than gold Lord you are more beautiful than diamonds nothing I desire Compares with you, Lord, you are more precious than silver, Lord, you are more costly than gold. Lord, you are more beautiful than diamonds. Nothing I desire compares with you. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone, by what we have said and by what we have left unsaid. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name, Precious than silver, Lord, you are more costly than gold, Lord, you are more beautiful than diamonds, and nothing I desire. Nothing I desire, nothing I desire compares with you. Psalm 41 Happy are they who consider the poor and needy. The Lord will deliver them in the time of trouble. The Lord preserves them and keeps them alive so that they may be happy in the land. He does not hand them over to the will of their enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed 
and ministers to them in their illness. I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies are saying wicked things about me. When will he die and his name perish? Even if they come to see me, they speak empty words. Their heart collects false rumors. They go outside and spread them. All my enemies whisper together about me and devise evil against me. A deadly thing, they say, has fastened on him. He has taken to his bed and will never get up again. Even my best friend whom I trusted, who broke bread with me, has lifted up his heel and turned against me. But you, O Lord, be merciful to me and raise me up, and I shall repay them. By this I know you are pleased with me, that my enemy does not triumph over me. In my integrity you hold me fast, and shall set me before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, from age to age. Amen. Amen. Psalm 52 You tyrant, why do you boast of wickedness against the godly all day long? You plot ruin, your tongue is like a sharpened razor, a worker of deception. You love evil more than good and lying more than speaking the truth. You love all words that hurt, O oh, you deceitful tongue. O oh, that God would demolish you utterly, topple you and snatch you from your dwelling, and root you out of the land of the living. The righteous shall see and tremble, and they shall laugh at him, saying, This is the one who did not take God for a refuge, but trusted in great wealth and relied upon wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will give you thanks for what you have done and declare the goodness of your name in the presence of the godly. The goodness of your name Oh, the goodness of your name Oh, the goodness of your name, Lord Oh, the goodness of your name Oh, the goodness of your name Oh, the goodness of your name, Lord Glory to the Father to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever Amen gospel reading this Monday of Ordinary Time, proper 18 in the church calendar, John 10, 19 through 30. Again, the Jews were divided because of Jesus' words. Many of them were saying, he has a demon and is out of his mind. Why listen to him? Others were saying, these are not the words of one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? At that time, the festival of the dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. We 
want to hear your voice, Lord. I want to hear your voice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. It is Monday of Ordinary Time, proper 18 in the church calendar, and our collect of the day, the prayer we pray together collectively. Grant us, O Lord, to trust in you with all our hearts, for as you always resist the proud who confide in their own strength, so you never forsake those who make their boast of your mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We boast of your mercy today, Lord. Oh, of your mercy. Let's take a few moments and have a time of free prayer where you can pray specifically and by name for those in your life. Your own heart, your joys, thanksgivings, trials, worries, fears. Your family your friends, acquaintances, co-workers, your enemies. Jesus commands us to pray for our enemies and bless those who curse us. Take these moments now. You are free. Just sit in His presence if that's what you need today. that you refocus our hearts and our minds and our souls and our strength. You refocus us on you as we set aside this time as holy God. You show us your heart, God. We hear your word in our spirits and in your word read and spoken to. 
Refocus us, Lord. Draw us into focus on you, the author and the finisher of our faith. On your mercy and your kindness and your goodness. You refocus us so we may then go out into the world with joy and clarity and loving our neighbors as ourselves, loving our enemies, bringing your goodness to all those we come into contact with. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. Lord, you are more precious than silver. Lord, you are more costly than gold. Lord, you are more beautiful than diamonds. Nothing I desire compares with you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Go in the peace and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Be refocused today on His loving kindness. Amen. Thank you for your support. BenmoreMusic.com slash donate. Let's pray together again tomorrow. Bye-bye.